Hi everyone, welcome to Aquarius season. Today we're going to talk about the season that is upon us, which is sun shining in the zodiac sign of Aquarius. This is the tropical zodiac sign we are talking about. Now, whichever sign currently sun is traversing in, that becomes the energy around us. That becomes the general energy, the general theme of that season. And this season will prevail till around 18th of February. So that will be the operating environment that we'll be functioning in. First, I'll talk about the energy of this uh, particular season, what kind of things we might encounter, what is the season best leveraged for, what kind of activities you should conduct in the season to be successful. Then we'll move on to individual sign and we'll go deeper into what part of your life this season highlights what part of your life will come up for renewal what part of your life would get highlighted not just in this season because Aquarius as a sign will get increasingly highlighted during the course of this year as Saturn is moving into this part of zodiac as well in March. Saturn will be moving into Aquarius in March and then it will be meeting with Jupiter which will also move into the zodiac sign of Aquarius in December. On 21st of December, Saturn and Jupiter will connect exactly together in Aquarius and that begins a new cycle of these two planets. These two planets have not met each other for 20 years now. Wherever Saturn and Jupiter meet each other in our chart, that becomes the theme of solid growth, gainful growth for the next 20 years of our life. And this is the first time in 200 years that these two planets are meeting in air sign. They have been meeting in earth sign before. Earth sign cycles usually signify material growth, purely material growth. So there's a shift in the global conversation from earth sign to air towards the end of this year. This is a different possibility of progress. There is new way of gains in material world that come about when Saturn and Jupiter meet in a different element. It shifts how abundance is created. It shifts what kind of businesses create abundance. What kind of way of being creates abundance for us? It shifts what way we need to be in our life when it comes to our profession, when it comes to our material world. And this is the most relevant external cycle that affects us on a day-to-day -day basis in our material world. This, These two planets, both Saturn and Jupiter, they regulate our day-to-day -day work and abundance. Jupiter... Uh, sort of defines our expansion, it promotes our expansion, Saturn creates the structure of that expansion. So what is the area of our life that we would be gaining the most out of over the course of next 20 years also gets defined with this conjunction and with the Aquarius, where does Aquarius sit in your chart would help you define that. So because of that, the season gets highlighted in a very different way for us than it does every year. And that's why we are going into in-depth into where does Aquarius sit in each, uh, each of your charts. We'll be following the whole sign system and we'll be looking at tropical zodiac for those who have um, a deeper knowledge of astrology or are interested in it. We do not follow sidereal astrology here. We, uh, uh, sidereal zodiac signs are not followed here. So look at your uh, tropical zodiac, which is normally the Western zodiac and not the Vedic zodiac when you look at your sign. So let's first talk about the season, what kind of environment we will be operating in. Aquarius season is a very social season. It is a friendly sign. It is a sign when people come together for common causes. It is a season when we are more outwardly focused than inwardly focused. It is an air sign. We are moving from earth to air. So being focused from within ourselves to the growth with people together. That's why towards the end of the year when the cycle of Saturn and Jupiter will begin, it will change the way the world grows. Instead of wealth being concentrated with a few in powers, Aquarian energy believes in distributing, distributing wealth more broadly. It believes in independence, independent businesses doing better as compared to corporations. 
people who have their own skill sets and then they use it for uplifting a network together doing better than people rising up by a uh, sort of taking on power from each other it is a more uh, equitable form form of progress so during the season you would find that it's it's an energy of union for example it's an energy of a community coming together fighting for a cause fighting for a shift coming together socially to support each other this is the time when we are best placed to be to become a part of a network if we were looking to join a network or if we were looking to create a network if we were looking to uh, be more socially active this is the best time to do that and it will naturally come to you because the general environment would be like that it is a more social environment people are more agreeable to be with each other more agreeable to come together for a cause it it is a time when a collective vision is created this is the time when uh, progressive social movements are given birth to this is not a very individual minded or a personal minded uh, zodiac sign it is a more collective zodiac sun in aquarius is not individualistic it is not about your own personal goals alone it's about you working together in a group and taking group responsibility and growing together but being unique is definitely the road to success in this sign this is when innovations come to forth when going away from old limitations you know the restrictions the inhibition air is open air wants to breathe air likes knowledge air wants is hungry for knowledge air signs aquarius virgo uh gemini libra they are hungry for knowledge they have originality this is a sign aquarian sign is is known for originality its day ro- ruler is uranus the planet that rules sudden changes sudden shifts sudden uh, going away trying to break away from limitations so thinking beyond boundaries new innovations thinking about new things that we can do as a group thinking about new topics that your community or your business network people of influence can do together and they can influence the society as a whole outdated has to go in this season so new perspectives come up new ways of doing things come up we socialize we are more uh, focused on the collective on the society on the humanitarian causes mental acuteness and agility is high in this season this is a sign which is very much in 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 their mind in their head there's a whole lot of thinking involved air air signs are involved more in in uh, in thinking and talking and sharing ideas and creating new things it's a also a little bit of a rebellious sign i mean aquarius is ruled by your uh, is uh, is ruled by uranus which is which is a rebellious uh, planet it is a planet of breaking free breaking free uh, creating new paradigm new techniques progressive techniques and there's a little bit of detachment from overly being emotional when we are doing that when we are cutting away from the old there is less remorse less a uh, feeling of uh, longing to that old uh, when it happens in aquarius season so it serves us well to cut away from something that we've been looking to move out of to move into a refreshing new phase enjoying it and creating a tribe that goes out with you on this new journey hanging out with friends who share their ideas with you and something new comes out of it uh, broadcasting your idea to your network creating a website creating a um online network where you share uh, your innovative idea or your collective vision with people or in if you are in an organization being the innovator who uses technology who uses broadcasting to tell people about the vision about what you think is about to come or what you think should come what the community as a whole should work on there is not a whole lot of impetus to shine as a lone ranger here this is a sign in which the accolades or the shine comes because you combine sources together and then present something so you'll be sort of merging talents with people 
you'll be leveraging certain business influential, even some influential people or some SMEs in a segment and bringing them together to create something which benefits a larger set of audience. This is a sign where um, we don't go and just say, okay, I'll be the sole speaker, for example. You bring together people, merge the ideas, and, and something new comes out of it. You go for unusual, you shake things up, you shake things up a little bit. And uh, there's distribution of energy. We don't exhaust ourselves in this, in this season. We don't go to extremes in this season because uh, moderation Saturn also rules Aquarius as a sign. So Saturn believes in in step-by-step -step approach to things. So as much as Aquarius likes to break free, there's usually a plan around it or you would have, if, if you're taking a step, uh, if you feel within your mind uh, and in your heart that something has ended for you and you want to go away from it, because both Sun and Mercury are being aspected by Uranus, so a lot of, a lot of us would feel that with the new moon that is happening on 24th of January, that we want to break away from something. And in February, you you'll see a lot of people breaking away from their old organization, which is a natural cycle. But you'll see more than normal. Of, of that happening because Saturn uh, rule sign Aquarius is has thought through had has thought through something in their mind for a long time they because Aquarius is a is a sign that thinks a lot as well so uh, we've thought about it for a long time that we were wanting to do that and then the season with the Uranus aspect to Sun and Mercury it gives us the impetus to break out and but as I said, it's not like suddenly impulsive or anything. You just have decided. It's, it's, it's been in making. You've thought about it. A and then you go ahead and do it. If you feel it is, as they say, your grid is not yet filled, you, you're not convinced about this move yet, you're not convinced, and, and you feel it is because of the emotional impulse right now that you're doing it, then I would suggest you to try to think through things. Our met mental acuity is very strong in this season. We are able to resolve issues. We're able to think through issues. Mercury, our mind is also in Aquarius right now, and it's a very strong sign for Mercury to be in. So our thinking is quite acute. Our mind is quite sharp. Our ability to discuss things with people in our network is very strong to come to solutions. So if you feel that you ha you're feeling the impulse to do something, to skip or to move out of your current situation, but you're not convinced right now, talk it out, or discuss with people, get in a network of friends together, or get in a network of mentors together, and then take the step forward. Moderation is very much there in, in Aquarius season, even though it is ruled by Uranus, but Saturn makes sure that we have thought through the outcomes of what we would do next from it. Uh, the, the immunity could be low in this season, Sun is not very strong in Aquarius. Um, I mean, as a significator, you see in Northern Hemisphere, Sun is weakest at this par part of time in the year. So our immunity is not the strongest at this time. So during Aquarius season, from a health perspective, we have to be a little bit careful in terms of our immunity. We have to boost up our immunity at this stage. Aquarius rules distribution system, so leveraging distribution system is important at this time. And you'll see a lot of distribution system activated, networks activated. Within our body as well, you'll see that the nervous system is more activated. So, for example, the veins in the body, the nervous system in our body is more activated. You feel a little bit wired when Aquarius season happens. So. Um, caffeine, for example, coffee or, uh, you know, tea, in, to some extent, it affects our body a little bit more than normal. Uh, so you feel a little bit wired. So if you suffer for, from any circulatory issues or coffee does not agree with you, um, even in normal course, you'll feel that it's more jittery. It causes us to be more jittery at this point in, in time. And if you suffer from any circulatory issues, which is, for example, we have cold hands if we do, then you want to add more vitality to help 
your circulation during this time of the year. Eat the foods that help uh, with the vitality, with the blood circulation at this time, or do acupuncture or do things to boost up the immunity at this stage in, in the year. Also find if you've been interested in initiating any social causes or you wanted to join or contribute to any social class uh, causes, this would be a good time to do that. There's an emotional need to be part of a group at this time. You want to be uh, loyal to a cause at this point in time. So attending any of the group gatherings or large meetings or linking people where people are sharing ideas and they're mer merging cultures you want to connect, 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 form even gainful connections that are both materially gainful as well as socially gainful. Uh, you, you sort of will be busy. So as I said, be careful of your nervous system getting overloaded because air signs, um, when they're dominant in, in energy, that season becomes the time when there's a lot of talk, a lot of meeting, a lot of traveling, a lot of people going to each other and meeting each other instead of, you know, staying put or staying stationary or being more grounded. So um, you, you, you'll you find your, your nervous system and your circulatory system a little bit more overloaded at this time. You, you could use certain me methods of healing, which use, uh, for example, um, the circulatory systems can be relieved using acupuncture using that or just um, periodically taking yourself away from it to gather your thoughts, to gather your energy, to reorganize because you don't want to dissipate your energy in this season. You'll find yourself uh, losing vitality easily in this season if you're over exhausting yourself. In terms of the global events, um, there's a whole lot of we are the world kind of a spirit. There's a philanthropy round inspiration that comes through. There's movements that we see. We see more civil rights, women rights, child welfare, those kind of liberation, educational movements coming through. We see more strikes. We see more people coming together in groups uh, trying to fight archaic rules or administrations at this time. Uh, we see uh, sort of you know shift in uh, inspiration level of people this is uh, their imagination is, is revved up so uh, there, there are two sides of it you see rebellion in, in the social causes and then you see innovation and in artistic things great work happening in humor and science and music and film industry uh, it's the time when people catch great idea and, and they find the right people to work with um, and you'll at the same time, you'll see nonprofits doing very well at this time. So this is a very much let's benefit a lot of people using something new, using technology uh, time. And with Uranus making a hard aspect at this stage to Sun and Sun and Mercury in Uranus, you would find that there is definitely an old mold that is broken for us at a society level as well as um, at a personal level, you'll find that the sense to sort of move forward will bring us forth to a completely different way of being when it comes to our mental process, when it comes to our thinking process. You feel more free to do new things. You feel free from the old emotions. Uh, this is a season that sort of gets rid of uh, old emotions that were blocking us because we are able to look at the situation in a more detached fashion to move forward in some way. So it's a great season to move over, to move over to a very different part of our life and decisions made in Aquarius season because it's a fixed sign are usually for a longer period of time. We don't plan for things or initiate things that are that are casual in nature, that are only for for the time being. So ideas which are coming up, innovations that are coming up, or the things that you're thinking about doing, which you know you're feeling now free to do, those become something that you want to dedicate, be dedicated to, for a longer period of time. So you would find yourself attaching yourself to something that you think you can carry forward for a longer period of time. This, uh, from a weather perspective, is a icy uh, Aquarius as a as a sign, as an archetype, is a is a cold uh, weather sign. So there's icy, freezing, 
uh, unexpected cold weathers happen with it and uh, it, it's it's a electric sign uh, it's it it rule it is ruled by uranus which rules electricity so electric storms and freaky lightning storms are quite easy uh, to happen during this time so power outages lightning those kind of things happen so you want to be careful with your data in the season especially around the around the new moon season which initiates from 24th of january so few days before and after you want to be a little bit careful with your data at this point in time i put it down in my note as well the daily note that i put on the on the channel as well you you want to be in not so much in the presence of electromagnetic field if you are able to switch off a little bit as i said we will be very much like connect 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 being online being on network meeting people you want to sort of switch off from being too much on social media at this time suddenly you know when it's too much for you and you can feel the mental overload just take a break uh, from your devices uh, periodically in the season uh share uh, stock market uh, uranus affects stock market the volatility in the stock market is a lot more in this season uh, especially with the uranus square prevalent right now you would find that the stock market would be the volatility will be more than normal at this point in time so having uh, looked at what the general season uh, consists of now let's look at each of the zodiac sign to look at what part of your life will come to light during the season as well as what what we could do like what are the uh, productive ways of doing things in that part of your life during the season so let's dig into individual signs now 